I can make a loud sound to try to scare him off. I can try to sweep the leg. Sweep the leg. You're right, everybody. I hope you're ready for this one because you're in for quite a bit of a treat. And if this is a treat, then a banger is an absolute given. This right here is Lost Scavenger. To me, this is going to be the closest thing we're going to get to a legitimate follow up to Neo Scavenger for the time being. Now, Neo Scavenger, I absolutely love it, but I've squeezed every little drop I can out of that game. I just want more. I want something more modern, just, just more of it, right? But, you know, the developers working on some other projects, unfortunately, so we gotta wait. Maybe someday it'll come around. But Lost Scavenger is basically Neo Scavenger with more of a modern, um, well, at least modern technology used. Graphics and everything. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that because the game has graphics, it's gonna be any better in Neo Scavenger. That was a dime and a half Neo Scavenger in terms of a game. But um, this right here is still in early development. It's still being worked on. I hope it continues to be worked on. I hope it gets the proper support it needs to be worked on because this is honestly, for now, what I would call Neo Scavenger 2. Let's get into it. Yo, all right, so the first thing we got to do here is create our character. Now, there is unfortunately, at least yet, no option for like a clean slate. Basically, let me customize my own character. As I've mentioned, still early in development, so right now there's only pre-made classes with their ups and their downs, obviously. I already went through these, but for the benefit of you guys here, I will, you know, scroll through them. You guys could pause and read the history of these characters, at least what's being shown to you. And their ups and their downs over here on the side, obviously. You're not going to see all of them, but I'm just going to give you a small little piece of it. I'm going to go myself personally. I think I'm going to go with Criminal. It feels like it might just kind of cater to my playing style, not that I'm a criminal myself, I assure you. Now, in terms of points, we got three to distribute. So, right now, this, what's hurting us in terms of our disadvantage is going to be poor eyesight and restless sleep. So, my, you know, my chance to hit, it's going to be affected a little bit. And also, when we rest, we won't necessarily get all the energy back that we normally would. Well, let's continue. I'm a pack rat, so let me get strong back for a fact. The ability to have a good rest in any condition increases the level of comfort during camping. Maybe it might offset restless sleep a little bit. Let's pick that up and let me also get... <laughs> sure. Burglar. Actually, you know what? Better dodge chance. Is my name going to be Aladdin? No, I don't want to be Aladdin. This is not Agrabah. Damn day hasn't been going well since morning. You were given a pin on one addict, they say. It is easy to con him and pick up the goods. But the narcot himself needed a dose. You were set up as a sucker, and both of you were tied up by the cops. Rubbing the top of your head with anger, you sit in the cell of the police station and drill the eyes of a sleeping drug addict in the cage opposite. How did you come to this? So, I wonder just basically if everybody has like a different startup story then. Because I don't think maybe the doctor would <laughs> start up locked up in prison because of a drug addict, right? Alright, uh, we could submit to fate and wait peacefully. We could hack the cell doors. We could request the right to call. Hey, I know my rights, buddy. Let me get a call here. You knock your foot on the bars demanding a call. The cops will take you to the phone booth where you lock yourself up, hoping to find a moment of escape. Suddenly before your eyes, the corridor is filled with a thick fog. And having scattered, the sight changes beyond recognition. Around the dilapidated walls, dusty floors, and general devastation. Moreover, at the end of the corridor appears a huge dog. With a dozen blinking eyes on its face. You don't like her look. A dozen blinking eyes? So this fog is apparently what brought down the fall of civilization here in this game. So that's our big disaster. Gotta find out what that is. We could run into the nearest door. We could rush to the window at the end of the corridor. We could stand still. Oh, sure, I'm sure standing still will help us out. I mean, it's not like the dog has 12 eyes to, you know, find us with. I am running into the nearest door. You rush to the nearest door, but it turns out to be locked. Swell. <laughs> There's no time for burglary. The dog is already pressed to the ground in order to jump on you. If we had agility, we could dodge the jump. If we had fast reflexes, we could dodge as well. But we do have strong, which means we could knock out the door. So hey, we're as strong as an ox. You run into the door with your shoulder, knocking it off its hinges and dive into the broken window in the streets, sliding your shoulder on the asphalt. You hastily get up and run into the alley. The town is unrecognizable. The roads are abandoned, the carts are abandoned, the sky has turned black. A whole flock of huge dogs appear at the far corner of the street. Seeing you, they rush across the road, knocking over and overturning rusty cars with their bodies. Anybody getting Dogman vibes from Neil Scavenger feels? Because I am right now. I'm running, dog. 
Turning on your heels, you rush down the street. Although the dogs approach you very quickly, thanks to the big head start, you run through the alley and successfully hide in it. Wandering through the streets familiar from childhood, you carefully leave the town. On the peeling walls of houses, arrows are still visible, pointing in one direction. And hey, there we go. Look at that. We actually have graphics. Now, obviously, this is <laughs> nothing to write home about. This seems like obvious, like acid flips or something, but it's something at least to visibly see, right? Neil Scavenger, we just had the little, you know, pixel dude saying right there, and then you'd basically just read text over and over as you chose things. That said, the combat here should be also very familiar to Neil Scavenger. You can move forward, you can move back. You can start, um, you know, taking offensive def defensive things. This game is heavily, obviously, influenced by Neil Scavenger. There's no getting around that. I'm not sure how many steps that is, so let me just move one myself. I assume that's even one. Seven. So maybe by running he takes two, and by walking we take one. I'm gonna assume that's the case. He's still gonna be coming after us, so let's get closer. I'm not gonna run just yet, though. I'm gonna take it nice and easy. Now, at this point, we might be in a melee area. I'm gonna get closer. He'll probably run again. We are in melee combats. Okay, perfect. We got no weapon, though, don't we? So what do we have here? Tactical. Behind? What is that? What does that mean? Like, get behind the enemy? We could grab the enemy. Preparation, trying to take an advantage position, which opens additional opportunities in combat. Catch a bread when we get too tired in combat. Defensive, we have dodge. We have do a backflip. <laughs> I think my guy got uh, reflexes, right? So that should be actually work out. I can make a loud sound to try to scare him off. I can try to sweep the leg. Sweep the leg. Let's go full force. We're strong after, all right? <laughs> so we exchanged attacks. Luckily, it was almost down, so we did kill him with that um, last blow. But in the process, we took a bite to the body and a bite to the right leg. Probably already on top of her injury from the shoulder, right? So that's not too good. Oh yeah, we got cuts all over the place. Looks like the wolf wounded you after all. Unfortunately, you have nothing to patch up your wound. Now you either have to go back to look for some clothes in the building, or you have to tear something of your personal belongings. Okay, this is going to teach us, um, again, I'm a noob at this, so... I, I'm gonna, you know, just kind of give it a little briefer as I go through here, but I'm gonna try to just figure things out. I'm just gonna keep the Neil Scavenger mentality. If I do things like that, maybe it'll get us through. Old rules of the new world, find clothes, tear it up, and patch up the wound. Now, let's see what we got here in inventory. Equipment, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bags and pockets. So again, all this is sounding very familiar, thankfully, so I shouldn't have, I shouldn't struggle too much. Right now, here where we are, there's a corpse of the infected dog we just killed. Um, how am I doing health-wise? Little health-wise uh, tutorial, all right, again, I'll uh, try to figure it out. Right shoulder's got the cut, body's got the bite. It's got the bite. And here we can do our crafting, obviously. Crafting table, I guess this is where we drag the items. Here we have a couple of recipes already right off the bat. I'm sure we'll find more, we're just finding items. We have also a lighter on ourselves. We have a shiv that we started off with as a criminal. So how about we try fly finding something here in this location? Let's do a search. I will use my shiv, sure. We could also add another item here to probably increase our loot and safety chances. But right now we're 9700, so I think we're fine. I will use my lighter for better search, and let's get to it. What do we find? Find another lighter, a wire, and glass shards. Not what we're looking for, unfortunately, so let's try it again. Tin can, empty. Rope. Threads. Do another one. Ooh, ooh, okay. So we found a bandana. I can't imagine this being better than my thermal cap. So, I think we should be able to break this one down for clothes to hopefully patch up our wounds. Another lighter as well, and apparently a trash can. Mostly there's garbage here, but sometimes a new joke may come across. We can use this as shelter? What now? Alright, let's tear off this bandana. Well, that was the right call, as we have torn that up. We have two rags. Now these rags, it's probably best to clean them first. Because this type of game, Neo Scavenger did it. If you didn't properly sanitize your wounds, and or if you put dirty stuff on it, it could infect. Now, this doesn't say necessarily dirty, so I'm going to take a shot in the dark here and hopefully just patch it up that way. But um, it could be a situation where 
could come back to bite me in the ass, so let's patch that up right there. And that's it. After leaving the godforsaken city behind and calming down a bit, you feel the adrenaline rush being replaced by hunger and exhaustion. You need to eat, but there's only forests and fields everywhere, though you can find berries, mushrooms, or edible grass there. The food under your feet may save you from hunger for a while, but not from bacteria and parasites. The instinct of survival sets the tone. You have to find food. Since you can't do the hunting and fishing without the proper equipment, maybe you should look for something to eat nearby. So, before I do that, though, there was still... So the foot one is no problem. We still have this injury over here. Luckily, we got one more rag, so I'm gonna put that right there. Nice. So all of our injuries for now are all right. Now, mind you, if you find some water or disinfectant, we might want to pop these rags off, clean our wounds, and then cover them again. Let's butcher up Wolfman. This is how much we could carry. Is there anything in the recipe list that we could have based on what we have here to make like... Ooh, we can make a regular hat. Like, maybe a bag of some kind to throw over my shoulder would be so nice, but our... A pallet sled. That is something we would probably drag with us to put stuff in. Leave here, let's go into the woods and hopefully get ourselves some sticks here. You gonna teach me about moving? That's fine. I'll figure it out, dog. We can run there for 12 energy in 27 minutes, I guess we'll call it. Or 46 minutes and 8. I'm gonna just move for now. So now we're in a random forest. Let's, uh, we can hunt here. We Now we have different things. We could also drink. We're getting a bit thirsty, but let me do a search here first. Maybe we find some berries. Ooh, apples. Big bonfire requires, uh, five, six, and these fellers here. Luckily, those do fit. I said luckily, those do fit. And let's just eat everything here. Apples should be good. We're getting a bit tired, so we're gonna get some rest soon. This is going to be for water, which is kind of what's really hurting us right now, so we'll do this. We'll also take those apples in our bag. And now our water situation is under control. Perfect. These are poisonous mushrooms. I don't want anything to do with those. Let me get my apples. I'll take those with me as well. All right. We'll leave everything else behind here. Let's jump back over here. Not going to run. Just walk over there, my friend. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba, Drop that in there. There it is. And make me... Big fire. Excellent. Now with big fire, where is meat? There is meat right there. How do I cook? Grilled mid pieces require... Yep, yeah, that. Oh, no! Are you kidding me? No, we're fine. It just requires more branches. That we didn't have enough. Okay. And is that it? All right. Well, we just had one. We just got one grilled meat from this big ass dying wolf that we got here. Mm -mm. I'm going to get myself a wooden spear right now. So we got stick. We got rope. We got glass chard. Three of them. Oh, yeah. It's all here, baby. Bamski. Bamski. Make it happen. Let's go. All right. Not too bad a start, I would say. It's uh, it's in red condition, so the durability is absolutely garbage, but it's gonna have to do for now. Uh, left hand, let's go ahead and put the shiv. I am dead tired, as you can see, so we have to get some rest. We have a fire nearby. Safety, at least, is 97 in this area. Comfort's not gonna be good, but yo, right now we just need to rest. <coughs> oh no. We caught a cold. Give me another hour. I would rested a bit more just to see if this rain would go away, but now it's uh, <laughs> it's worse. There's a storm now. Okay, let's let's do the quest that it wants me to do, which is to open the can now. And we have a bit more food. Ten meat. Do you want me to eat it or can I just take it with me? Open it and eat it. Yeah, it wants me to eat it. Okay. The meat was nutritious but kind of salty. You feel the urge to drink after your meal. After picking up a plastic bottle from the ground, you begin to wander around looking for a source of water. Take a look at the plastic bottle in your hands. Get water from the nearest creek. We've already been there, too. Uh, let's see. We have... One... Two... And I guess this is where we say goodbye to our bonfire and the leftovers of this uh, wolfman, because we can't carry the wolfman. I mean, I guess I could carry it by hand, perhaps? Sure. But now I can't carry the shiv, unless we move meat here, you there, that's fine. Storm is over, hopefully? Nope, still going. 
Now then, get water from the nearest creek. Maybe just inventory straight up. Collect water, yes. You pop the cap and walk up to a tiny creek. When you try to get down on your knee, your foot slides in the mud. You lose your balance and fall into the water. At least the bottle fills up. In dirty water, oh. Well, if we have to... Obviously, boil it. We have a fire we could go back to. Cursing under your bread, you climb back up the shore and scoop the bottle out of the creek. Your fall has caused sand and slime to rise from the ground. So the bottle is full and dirty of sandy water. Beautiful. You bring the bottle up to your mouth and feel a faint smell of mustiness. The sand will eventually fall to the bottom of the sand, but the water is still full of germs. Yep. So it's going to teach me about sanitizing the water now, obviously. Well, luckily, four of us already have that. All I can do is just go back. Assuming it's still there, hopefully it still is. Hasn't, like, you know, turned off yet. Um, but I mean, while we're here, we might as well fill the extra bottle we have, right? Perfect. Anything else we want to bring with us this time around? Not quite. So let's go back, hopefully the fire's still there. So, for bottle of clean water, we're looking for fire. Luckily, we have some cans still left over, that's what we're gonna boil it from. All we gotta really do, then, is now drop our dirty boys here. And dirty boy there. Beautiful. Do I have to drink it? I mean, I don't not really that thirsty just yet. It really wants me to sort of but I've already done that. I've already done it. See, this is what I get for trying to, you know, play the game on my own with the tutorial going on. Alright. Stop it, Storm. What happened this time? Thirst? That's fine. I got water. Don't even trip. There, get out of here. You feel exhaustion taking over, you need to rest, look around for a comfortable place to sleep, and roof over your head. Time to make yourself a bed. Build a hut to sleep in. Maybe this... You feel that someone is following you? In one of the houses, you find a leaflet. Stronghold informs, your nearest evacuation point is the Mitten Village. On a schematic map, indication, direction. Indicated direction. Perhaps there are still people. Infiltrate the settlement. Mm, mm-hmm. Okay. Now. Now we're going somewhere, huh? Now, how do I move the map without moving my character? Oh, you can't. Really? No, for real? I can't. Like, I keep the fog of war. I just like to be able to, like, zoom out at least. No, none of that. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> I hate that. Okay. This, the item ship has decayed? It wasn't even being used! Fine. Well, we have a little bit of food on us. We got some meat, we got some apples, we got clean water. Let's go. I said, let's go. I'm kind of curious, too, if, um... Oh, nice. So elevation does let me see around better. That's what I was wondering, too. Falcon is hungry, huh? Freaking high metabolism. You wandered for hours alone until you saw the cold outlines of a settlement in the distance. Seeing human figures in the walls, it seemed to you that you were awakening from a painful dream. Could you only dream of this terrible world? But no. Having opened your eyes, you were still standing in the same deserted field, and your nostrils were breathing in the same damp and chilly air. Head towards the settlement. The settlement greeted you with an oak gate, which, judging by the numerous scars, often had to protect local residents from external threats. Suddenly, an arrow whisked past your ear. When you glance at the wall, you see a figure. In a hoarse, unfriendly voice, the person shouts to you. Give me one reason why the next arrow shouldn't hit you between your eyes. Speak. Fast. <laughs> Maybe these guys aren't bad? <laughs> Even if they're just threatening my life? Introduce yourself as a wanderer, ask for asylum, ignore the question, and call for mercy. <coughs> I'm a wanderer. I'm also cold. Please let me in. You choose your words carefully, posing as an ordinary wanderer caught in a heavy rain on the way to the west. Wanderer, you say? West End? Well, where exactly are you heading west? The Sentinel's question looks took you by surprise. I'm not smart enough to lie on the fly. You felt the moment's panic and without thinking blurted out that you were heading for an abandoned department store. What other department store? There's no department store in the West. Well, Stan, there's... There's not one. There's not one single department store in the entire West, would you tell me? Not one. Okay, dog. I'm not gonna resist, because it might just be like an initiation or something. 
Soon you are led into some room where the sound of rain is hardly heard. Good, I can hopefully warm up finally. As soon as you ask a question about what is happening, you are stunned with something hard in your temple. If it were not for the bag on your head plunging everything around in impenetrable darkness, your eyes would definitely darken from the blow. Frightened and disoriented, you slowly pass out and sink into darkness. You slowly emerge out of oblivion, frozen in the subcortex of consciousness. My head is buzzing incredibly. It seems as if you were hit by a car. They keep you tied to a chair in the basement opposite uh, our three broad-shouldered figures. Listen carefully. I won't repeat it twice, the bearded man said. We ask questions, you answer. Honestly and quickly, otherwise you will regret. Let's start. Your name. Ask another with a scar in his eye. Age. Twenties? <laughs> Not anymore, dog. I wish. Where'd you come from? Interrupting the interrogator asking his question. I, I came from prison. <laughs> Let's tell the truth, man. Shuddering, you squeeze out of yourself the story of how you got into this world. The scarred man's jaw drops. The third man crosses himself. Fear appears in the eye of the bearded man for a second. So he really is Prish. Quiet! The bearded man barks. So then we'll, we'll leave him. As if anticipating the protest of the peasants, he adds, For one night. And don't tell anyone about him. Lock him up in the dump and bring me, bring him to me early in the morning. Execute. Execute. When you enter the house of the leader, accompanied by the watchman, he's already waiting for you. I see you haven't passed out, Falcon. That's good. Remember when I said I had a job for you? One of our hunters has not returned to the settlement for two days. Do you understand? Yeah, you want me to find him? Yeah, you're not as stupid as it seems. That's great. The leader grins suddenly. Yes, I need you to go to the forest and find this hunter. We have very few people, so I can't send them every time someone goes missing. And for you, such a basic job is a great chance to prove that you are worth something. Now, because we have the perceptive to, um, perk, pay attention to a strange change in the attitude of the leader. You notice a clear difference in the behavior of the leader. Yesterday he was ready to kill you on the spot, and today he gives you an assignment. You ask him what has changed. Nothing's changed, he snorts. The leader clearly didn't like your question. I'm giving you a chance, and you're looking for ulterior motives? I could kill you right here if I wanted. The lookouts put their hands on your shoulder. Throw their hands off of your shoulder and jump up. Throw up your hands and concede. Lower your eyes and keep silent. Alright, let's, I mean, we're, we're in no position to be a hard ass right now, right? You apologize, I mean, probably wouldn't go that far, but you apologize and promise to find a missing hunter. The sentries take you outside and drag you to the main gate, which they close in your face. They point in the direction of the nearest forest. Into the heart of darkness we go. Well guys, I think I'm gonna wrap it up here for this. We were able to mess around a little bit with the mechanics of the game itself, see some of the combat, see some of the crafting, the collecting. I absolutely love this. I gotta tell you right now, I absolutely love this. I mean, to be honest with you, if I didn't tell you at the start of the game that this was uh, not Neil Scavenger 2, which you doubted if I told you it was Neil Scavenger 2. I mean, obviously it's still rough around the edges, but it's still early in development, so it's going to be jank because of that reason. But I mean, everything else, though, is there. We even have story portions in towns and like those little quests that they gave you in Neil Scavenger as well. This is awesome. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll have a link for you down below in the description. If you'd like to see more from me, let me know in the comments. I'll be leaving a thumbs up and just enough interest. We might come back for some more. Primarily, though, I just wanted to put this game out there for you guys to know of in case you wanted to play some more Neo Scavenger. And again, any sort of support for this developer will hopefully keep the wheel turning, as they say, right? And this continues to be developed, and this could be quite a bit of a banger. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you next time.